Hello everyone. This is the third question of exercise 5.2 and in this question we are given that these two lines are parallel to each other and this is a transversal. We have to find all these unknown angles. Now what is the best thing about lines and angles that we can solve these questions using many methods, many ways. For example, if we have to find angle F, the first thing that we can do is this is a straight line. Sum of angles on a straight line should be equals to 180 degree. That is 125 plus F can be equals to 180 degree. Angle on straight line. So F will be equals to 55 degrees. Now, if F is equals to 55 degrees, then E and F are vertically opposite. So E equals to F that is equals to 55 degrees because of vertically opposite. Now, supposingly you are unaware of this property that angle on a straight line is equals to 180 degrees. But you know what are corresponding angles. So you can find this a corresponding angle means 125 degrees and angle D form corresponding pairs. So D is equals to 125 degrees. And after that, F plus D is equals to 180 degrees because they are sum of interior angles. Now, if we are following this method, then E is equals to 55 degrees. Now, angle E is equals to angle A equals to 55 degrees because of corresponding angle. After that, now we know A to be 55 degrees. If A is 55 degrees, then C equals to angle A equals to 55 degrees vertically opposite. Or if you don't know what are vertically opposite angles, then what you can do is, you know this F, this is 55 degrees and this F and this C will make corresponding pair so C will also be equals to 55 degrees. Now we know angle E, we know angle F, we know angle A, we know angle C. We have to only find angle D and angle B. Now angle F is equals to angle D because of sorry angle F plus angle D is equals to 180 degrees sum of interior angle. So we know that F is equals to 55 degrees plus angle D is equals to 180 degree. So D will be equals to 125 degrees or what you can do is 125 and D are making corresponding angles. So D will be equals to 125 degrees. Now angle B is equals to angle D because of vertically opposite angles. So, angle B will be again equals to 125 degrees. So, there are many ways to solve these lines and angle questions. This is how you can do this. For any queries or doubts, you can contact us through our YouTube channel or through our website that is www.truemas.com. Thank you.